Hello, I'm Joey Altman, author of the book, Without Reservations, How to Make Restaurant-Style Food Easily at Home. And today I'm gonna to share with you some great recipes for entertaining restaurant-style in your own home. Now it's time for my favorite part of our Italian-themed dinner, the dessert. I'm gonna show you how to make a dark chocolate and mascarpone mousse tiramisu. Translated means pick-me-up. The reason they call it a pick-me-up is because it has coffee in the syrup that we imbibe the lady fingers with, and that gives you a little pick-me-up. But first, let me show you how I make the dark chocolate mousse. I have some melted chocolate here with some butter that's melted and then cooled to room temperature. I have egg yolks and sugar that are beaten to a, a pale yellow color. So the chocolate I melted over a double boiler and let it cool, and I take that luscious melted chocolate and I add that right to our egg yolk and sugar mixture. Then I have some whipped cream with a little sugar. So now my whipped cream is in there and I'm gonna carefully fold the whipped cream into the chocolate butter and egg mixture by placing the spatula in the bottom and then just flipping it over just like that. So now it's mixed plenty and I'm gonna take my meringue, and this was made with a little bit of sugar and the whites that were left over from when I separated my eggs. And I'm gonna add about a third of the egg whites. And I'm gonna fold those in. And this I can be a little bit um, less gentle with. Then I take the next third, and I'm a little bit more delicate with it. So I don't wanna lose any of that aeration. Just gently fold that in maintain as much of the aeration as possible, keep our mousse nice and light. This is looking really good. Look how light and fluffy that looks. That's beautiful. So the first part of assembling the tiramisu is I'm gonna use some lady fingers that I bought at the store. In the book, I show you how you can make them, but buying them already made is totally fine. And I'm gonna soak them in this syrup I made with dark coffee, a little Kahlua, rum, and brandy. And I just dip them in there. I just lay them in the bottom of the bowl. I really love using this glass footed bowl from Pottery Barn because you can see all the great layers inside as you're building it. Really important to only dip them in a little bit. Don't put too many in at one time because then they'll sog out and they'll get really mushy and you want them to get soft in here, not in here. Okay, so now I have my bottom layer of the lady fingers. And now I'm gonna add my chocolate mousse right on top of that. Yum, yum, yum. Now I'm gonna repeat the process of adding the lady fingers on top of the chocolate mousse. Okay, so the final layer of our tiramisu is the mascarpone mousse. And this is some heavy whipping cream and sugar, vanilla bean and mascarpone Italian cheese just whipped together. So to get a nice smooth top, chefs use an offset spatula like this and just gently pushing it, angling the blade of the spatula and turning the bowl. So push it out and then turn the bowl. And you want it to be a little bit higher in the middle, just like that. And then using the sides of the spatula, start going to the outside like that from the middle. This way you get a nice even and smooth top. Voila. Now this is best made a day ahead of time, wrapped with plastic and stored in your refrigerator. Then right before serving, take it out of your refrigerator and you can garnish it with chocolate. 